This episode of Tech Thing is brought to you by Dell. Hello, fancy people. I'm Shannon Morris here at CES 2019 here in Las Vegas. And me and my friend Julian here just saw NVIDIA's press conference. Julian, how do I know you? Uh, you worked with me when we were covering Gamescom back in August of 2018. You that's came on board, right. and that's the first time we met, although you've been doing stuff for NVIDIA for a while now. A little while, yeah. Um, just a disclaimer, I do do videos for NVIDIA's GeForce YouTube channel, which is a great YouTube channel. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on it. But uh, the press conference, I really wanted to chat with you a little bit about that with our wine here, being all fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the first thing, and probably the biggest news that we saw, was the brand new RTX 2060 video cards. That was definitely the headliner of this entire NVIDIA press event. Amazing. Um, for me, it's just such a, a, a niche filling uh, yeah. card that really NVIDIA uh, kind of needed to put out. Uh, the RTX cards came out in August of last year. You were right. there for it. And we saw this amazing ray tracing chasing te technology. We saw a little bit of DLSS, deep yeah. learning super sampling. And um, the thing that a lot of people took away from it, though, was like, ah, the top of the line cards that they announced are out of my price range. Uh, it's going to be too expensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the ray tracing, yeah. uh, is it really going to be worth it for the performance that it, it costs me, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of raw frames per second right. and all this. And the first thing that the RTX 2016 uh, addresses is that price point option. Yep, right? $349. Yeah, that's what they're starting the at. $349 is probably what a lot of AIBs are going to be offering some of these 2060s at. Uh, it's safe to assume the NVIDIA Founders Edition, the reference card version, is going to go for a little bit more. Uh, but still, a $349, $350, I hate the marketing jargon. I know, a, right? <laughs> a 300, let's be real, $350, $350. card <laughs> is uh, a great option for the vast majority majority of PC gamers Absolutely. and that's really who it is targeted to. It's like, hey, and the best part is ray tracing is part of the package. Um, there was some speculation when numbers were leaking and the 26 moniker was popping up. Is it going to be a GTX naming convention right, or is yeah. it going to be part of the RTX family officially? And we saw it. Battlefield 5 with ray tracing on in 1440p. Dude, that demo was awesome. Mm -hmm. And and of course Jensen came out right afterwards and he was like, oh, by the way, that was on the 2060. Check oh, this out. Oh, oh, and I believe that they said the 2060 is better than a, was it a 1070 1070 Ti, Ti. I want to believe. And I do have some graphics that I can show you for that. So that was very exciting. I'm very excited to check out their, those GPUs and see some real world benchmarking as well. So yep. that's going to be really exciting. Yep. Uh, the other thing that they came out with as well was Max-Q laptops with RTX in them. So I will say right here that my tech thing prediction was correct. Congrats. Go me. Yay. Yay. I don't want to spill my one. <laughs> I know, right? But good job. Good on you. So we're going to see 2080s, 2070s, and 2060s in laptops coming this year. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different pro uh, partners that are going to be releasing those. I am going to assume that we will see them here. I believe a few will be announced tonight. I believe they're already probably announced by the time you see this. Yeah. So we're going to definitely be checking those out as much as possible this week. Uh, but it's, it's exciting because those are just as strong and stronger than 1080s in desktop PCs. This is, I mean, you were giddy about this mm -hmm. because you're here along with covering some stuff for the GeForce channel. You're yeah. doing, literally, you are a one Video woman editing. operation. Yeah. Well, Patrick's here too. Patrick's <laughs> here too. We're both, Well, that's you know, still one woman. We're, we're soloing it and we're hitting different things while we're here at CES. So, yeah. so the idea that in the future I can get a portable laptop, Jensen came out with a less than five pound laptop on stage that was, he was playing a video game on. Yeah. And the thing was running an RTX Max-Q graphics card yeah. inside of it. A 2080. Knowing that I can get that in the very near future and it be portable enough that I can take it to conventions, I can take it overseas when I have keynotes or whatever. Like that, just that fact makes a, a realm of possibilities for me. Yeah. I can't wait to edit on one of those and see how fast it is on a laptop. Yeah, so hardware wise at CES, Nvidia brought 
brought the goods right off the bat. It's they pretty exciting. Absolutely did, and I'm so excited about those. We also heard about G-Sync monitor certification. Uh, there's 12 of them that are currently certified that they introduced. Mm -hmm. they, they also tested another like 400 or so, and those were the only ones that they found worked with G-Sync and looked beautiful up to their standards, up to NVIDIA's standards, yeah. so that was a big deal. Didn't have like pulsing or like random blackouts, right? Yeah. They were adaptable uh, synchronizing monitors that didn't have the G-Sync hardware, that right. chip that actually communicates with the GPU, but still could adapt their sync to a level that NVIDIA deemed was good enough to get their stamp of approval. And they also introduced some information to us about DLSS as yes. well. Yes, uh, this was kind of the um, undercovered portion. Looking it back was, yeah. for Gamescom, I wish we'd focused on this more because it's so fascinating. It hasn't gotten a lot of press. It's going to be such a big piece of the the ray tracing puzzle. Yeah. Because um, you know when uh, RTX was first enabled in Battlefield Five. Uh, it had a significant frame rate hit, and yeah. a lot of critics pointed at it, and they were like, this is a terrible nope. idea. <laughs> we're, ne the f we're never gonna go to ray tracing. Yeah. Uh, maybe not that far, but they, they still, it was, it was a source of some fun, I'd say, from <laughs> the more negative Feedback. reviewers and, <laughs> and tech critics. It was like YouTube comments. Yeah, and you know, uh, NVIDIA and DICE optimized the ray tracing, and they brought that level of frame rate back up, but not to right. the level that it was with RTX still turned off. Uh, but DLSS is really going to be that secret sauce that pushes ray traced graphics over the edge. Absolutely. I mean, we saw demos with Battlefield 5 now with DLSS enabled, where, you know, without RTX, it's like 60 frames per second, drops to 40 with RTX on, and then you turn DLSS on and it goes back above 60 frames per second. So you get that amazing reflection image quality, which really, once you see it, once you play with it, like, I. I'm obsessed with it in Battlefield 5. I'll be standing in the middle of a field somewhere in France, <laughs> like looking at a puddle. Just like staring at like, puddles. ooh, the reflection of the tank, and then boom, the tank destroys me because I was a little distracted. But it's that good. Like, I will not turn it off, yeah. even though it cost me a few frames. And now I'm going to be able to get those frames back. And that's huge. Like, the, the fact that the RTX 2060 is coming out and the fact that DLSS is going to be supported in games with ray yes. tracing means that like we're at that point now like we are actually marching into the next generation of how video game graphics are processed Absolutely. it's amazing yeah i feel like uh this presentation tonight officially started off ces on a very high note and i feel like there's going to be a lot of video game news coming out this week so i'm really excited to see what happens yeah me so too. if you are interested uh, in Julian and everything that he does, where can people find you on the Oh internet? boy, I just started streaming on Twitch for Ooh. funsies. I'm uh, jhug00. Uh, I'm pretty much all my social medias are that, the Instagrams, the Twitters. And of course, uh, NVIDIA's GeForce channel, I'm a pretty regular host along with Shannon if you've seen her on that. So if you like us and our content and want to see Actually, you know, NVIDIA does a whole bunch of giveaways for all That's these true, events. They do. If you want a chance to win an RTX 2080 Ti, they're giving them away for people who subscribe to the GeForce channel. So hey, don't miss out on that. Are you the other stuff now? What, what is this? This is what I get paid to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you again so much for watching this video. And if you are interested in all of Tech Things coverage during the week, we have tons happening this week. So definitely check it out. YouTube.com slash Tech Thing. And if you have any questions, definitely tweet them to me. I'm at Snubs. You are? At jhug 0 and at Tech Thing. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Alienware's brand new M15 and M17 laptops come equipped with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics. With support for Intel's Core i9K processors and dynamic overclocking, both machines are built for power, durability, and portability. Both the 15-inch and 17-inch models stay true to the Epic design while introducing thin and light to the gaming portfolio. Alienware's M15 and M17 gaming laptops will be available on January 29th. Learn more at Dell.com, and we thank Dell for their support of TechThing.